Have you ever thought to yourself, I can't do this? Do you ever find yourself feeling like there's nothing you can do to make a difference in the world or in your life? I'm Matt Sherman and welcome to Geek Psychology where today we're talking about how Thor's story can change your life, improve your confidence, and help you to become the person who you want to be. There's also a really powerful life design exercise at the end to help you create the life that you want to live. Thor is a complex character. You know, on one hand, he's a god and a superhero, but on the other hand, he's just a guy trying to figure himself out. When his sister Hela destroys his hammer Mjolnir, his father Odin reminds him that he's not Thor, god of hammers, he's Thor, god of thunder. In other words, Thor's power isn't in the object itself. The hammer is a focus for his powers that he channels through it when he uses it. What does that mean for you? The moral of the story here is your power is not in an object or in a belief about yourself. It's in you. And while we all get caught up in our own like tools and tricks for getting through life, we often forget that these are just the means to an end. The real power is within us. And your power lies in your ability to harness your own internal resources and channel them into a force for good. It means you have the strength to let go of old beliefs or relationships when they don't serve you anymore. And that your identity is not subservient to your beliefs, it's the opposite. This is explained more by Robert Dilt's logical levels of change. Your beliefs, capabilities, actions, and environment the situation that you're in, all serve the labels that you choose to identify with. Basically, you believe and act like your identity label, and that creates your situation. Yes, you can definitely be restricted by your environment, which will make it harder to do the things that you want, but think of someone like Viktor Frankl, who wrote Man's Search for Meaning after he got out of Auschwitz. He said, everything can be taken from a man but one thing, the last of the human freedoms to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's own way. When Thor loses his hammer, he eventually learns that even if he has no weapon, he still has the ability to summon lightning. He actually realizes that he's even more powerful through letting go of his reliance on Mjolnir. He begins to weave lightning into his attacks and can even levitate without his hammer, which he used to use to levitate. And this is going to sound a bit corny, but you don't need any tool to create the thunder in your own life. It comes from inside you, and you can use it to change the world around you. And before we jump into this really game-changing exercise, make sure you hit the like button for this video because when you press the like button on a Geek Psychology YouTube video, it's kind of like picking up Thor's hammer. It makes you feel powerful and awesome for contributing to the growth of the channel and to my mission to help more geeks and gamers level up. Don't believe me? Try it for yourself. So here's the exercise. This is a simplified version of Mike Mandel Hypnosis Academy's Identity Cascade, which was actually created by Chris Thompson. And I've used this with myself, clients, and even brought it into a group session. Number one, define who you want to be. What or who are you? I am Thor, God of Thunder. Number two, what kind of beliefs and values are necessary to make that identity true? I believe I am the rightful and worthy heir to the throne of Asgard. I'm also the strongest Avenger. Number three, what skills does that person have? I've mastered hammers, axes, piloting, and even learned to speak many languages, including Groot. Number four, what actions are they doing every day? What's their daily routine? I enjoy life, I train, I drink, I fight supervillains. Number five, what's their environment like? The people, places, and things around them. I live in New Asgard, a quaint fishing village with my fellow Asgardians. Now build your life from the ground up. Go to where they'd be, start taking the actions that they take, learn the skills that they have, improve your mindset and you know, use meditation or mantras to do it, or better yet, take the actions again that fit those beliefs and start calling yourself that identity. Of course, these are just examples that I use for fun, but to do this on your own, uh, find an ideal image of someone who you want to be or how you want to be. So here's a real example. If you want to be an actor, start calling yourself an actor. Start creating the beliefs that you're good at embodying characters, maybe because all emotions are a human shared experience, and then start learning the necessary skills, maybe mnemonic devices to remember lines. 
practice daily and record and critique yourself. And finally, go to the places where actors are. Boom, you are on your way to become an actor. And if you want more videos on how to unleash your superpowers, check out this video over here. That's nice. That's pretty good. That's pretty good.